I have but one choice. We must face the long dark of Moria. This, my friend, is the home of my cousin Valius, and they call it a mine. A mine! This is no mine. It's a tomb. No. No. Quiet, Edda. It's a four-day journey to the other side. If me one flashbacks. Anyone. Hello, everybody. I'm Riddell. Welcome back to the Age of the Ring campaign, a episode seven. Now, all heroes must... Oh, fuck. I was actually just... All right. That scares me. I was actually just about to speak really ballsy about... You know, ev everyone was taunting to me about the Moria episode, about how it's going to destroy me, break my soul, I'm going to die over and over again. And I'm like, no, you know what? Fuck them. I'm going to do this. I'm going to prove you wrong. But this one right here with the hobbits, I'm mildly terrified now. So, uh, you know what? Let's just, uh, I don't know, we can just hope, basically. All right, so Gandalf has Let's Risk a little more light. Drastically increases. I don't know why I'd flash that. Like, we already get it. We had it last episode, but, eh, whatever. I honestly don't know if it's better to put them on Rock Throw. Because Rock Throw, I don't know, they just seem to miss a lot, and... I don't know. I just feel like if we can just keep them out of melee at all times, it's just sort of the best one. Knife Throw AoE. Axe Throw AoE like to bug out, so we're not going to do that. Alright. Here we go. Gandalf's missing his hat. Nice touch, I really do like that. Let us brave the long dark of Moria. Be on your guard. There are older and fouler things than orcs in the, in the places deep places of the world. Okay, I'm lost already. <laughs> You can barely see anything. Now I, now I know why they highlighted it. So they built the level around requiring you to see more light. Quietly now. That's clever. Otherwise it's just a gimmick. If you actually have to use it, then it becomes a mechanic. Alright. Well, I don't see what's so tough here. You know, it's just an abandoned mine. There's no goblins here. There's certainly no demons of the ancient world. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. But yeah, the all heroes must survive is like I was I was about to I was about to make a wager. I was about to say if I die, you have my permission to call me an ethot. But after that, <laughs> I'm not so sure now. Or may use your knife throw. Alright, sorry, I had to pause Miss Fi. With when when you have lots of pets, it's very often you get interrupted, so I do apologize for that. Although with the might of editing, that would probably seem very seamless. I don't know why I'm apologizing. You know what, given that the fellowship had to brave a mountain and then a Balrog infested tomb. But Mithril. Mithril. Can we risk a little more light? Does it want us to do that? That's on cool now. Is there something there? What is that? No. But yeah, given that they braved so much shit, Stay they close. did they did well to only lose one guy. Although really, if you think about it, they all have plot armor. So you could look at it like their their journey was so perilous that they lost a guy even with plot armor. <laughs> That's one perilous journey. And once again, I just realized Lone Tower is unavailable. Come on, Kyle, what are you doing to me? Breaking my spirit one level at a time. Someone said you could reset, but I'm pretty sure that's only if you hit new powers. Yeah, that's only if you spend your points at that moment. It's one of the most useless buttons in the game. I know we we're just walking, but... This feels like Moria. This would have been what their journey was like. I'm actually still enjoying that. When, you, when you're... Uh, when you're recording videos, it's always on your mind to be entertaining because the audience retention can be the difference between, oh, that's a nice paycheck, to what the fuck is this, YouTube? I will massacre you. And now we're lost. 
But yeah, I hope I don't sound too different because I actually got a new chair today and I'm a little bit lower down. I don't know. I'm more comfortable, but like a little diff. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm in the optimum position for audio, uh, whatever the fuck. And it's just so annoying actually setting up everything and making sure it sounds perfect. But uh, hopefully I don't sound too bad. Blue, Blue Yetis. Actually, what one fault with the Blue Yeti is that they pick up everything, so I don't think there'll be a problem with me uh, picking up audio. What the? I have a cat jumping on me. I'm having to play a level everyone was said was impossible. <laughs> I'm having to talk about changing setup, and then I'm being attacked by pets. Welcome to Rude Devil. Is this what you subscribe for? I mean, I'm pretty sure you do, so don't worry about it. Alright, we don't actually want Legolas to lead. He's always so fast, but as I said in the last episode, he's fucking squishy. We want Boromir. Or we want Big G-Dalf. Yeah, man. If we could re reset, I think I would get rid of Lone Tower. And I would definitely get rid of Rallying Call since it's all about heroes now. Have we just gone round in circles? Alright. I'm hoping we have it. I'm thinking this is still the way since it played the little cutscene. I've just noticed that the map actually disappears as you go. I think it wants you to get lost. Wait, what the hell? Kill them! Kill them now! Gimli Axe Throw? I will smite them from afar! Gimli, you're really- Oh wait, Aragorn has a bow. Aragorn! I always loved it that Aragorn had a bow in the Fellowship. Definitely a ranger. Uh, I reset the camera. This is the wrong way. Okay. Let's not do that. It's funny that the rock, the range on the rock throw was actually better than the Gimli Axtra. And the light is from those goblins, which means we're being watched as well. I know we're just walking, but... Really enjoying this level, actually. Whoa! You want a piece of me, do ya? Let's fucking go, lad! Uh. In Moria, in Casa Doom. If you haven't heard the acapella, or it's not even acapella, it's just like the uh, composition of uh, the Song of Dura, and I forget their name, they've got some weird, intricate name, but like. You must know that it's like Klamavi something something. If you haven't heard the song of Durin, then you really need to look it up because it's beautiful and they sing it so well. Okay, so we were going... Oh my god, it's pitch black! g Delf. We really should have. Okay, I think this must be the right way if it triggered Boromir saying something. I think. Now our feet are wet. Toffee, what's the playing with that? Oh my god, welcome to the most professional YouTube channel in the history of YouTube. Okay. I think we've actually gone the wrong way. I honestly have no idea if this is the right way now. I was I was enjoying myself, but now I'm honestly scared. Because, like, more enemies may not mean that we're going the right way. Because if I was making this level, I would say that if they go the wrong way, they face even more enemies. That's the way I would do it. Oh, for fuck's sake, lad. Aragorn, get him, you fucking nerd! I have to set him on aggressive, otherwise he's just not... Come on, Aragorn! Good boy. Okay, the hobbits are in the... There we go. That's what we want. We want Boromir leading the line. Stalwart and brave. Oh, we found the axe! Okay, so we did go the wrong way, but, uh... Who the fuck is that? Did go the wrong way, but we did do a bonus objective. By my beer, this is the axe of Balin! There is no way we found it this easily. Do you know how... M so it is, Gimli. Keep it at hand. We may have need of it ere we reach the Miromir. Gimli has retrieved Balin's axe. He will now do increased damage. Oh, yes! Oh, so you actually get rewards for doing bonus objectives. Alright. That's good. That's good game design. Whee! I know it's got a long cooldown, but I just kind of wanted to use it. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's cool. But as if we got it that easily. Like, in Lotro, 
the finding Balin's axe is like one of the main um, story arcs in the whole thing. And uh, someone actually, I can't remember which video it was. Someone brought it up the other day that like I, I said I didn't really like Watcher and I didn't. But I was convinced uh, late last year to actually pick it up and actually just kind of give it a go. And uh, I will, what I will say about Lotro is that it does have the same MMO tribes. Those are unavoidable. It is an MMO after all. But like, once you sub, if it, or rather if you sub, it is a completely different game. It's so good. It is so... Like, it's one of those games that restricts so much if you're free to play. That it's really... Like, I only ever played it free to play. I'm actually going to say real quick. Yeah, so as I was saying, I have no idea which way to go. As I was saying, like, do not go free to play and then make an opinion on it. Definitely sub and then make your decision on it. Because uh, I think I got all the way to, like, level... I think I got to the Isengard expansion. And it's, uh, yeah, no, it's a real solid MMO. Uh, particularly with friends. And uh, playing through Moria with friends was really fun. Um, on my little return video, I sort of showed off the uh, Watcher raid boss fight. And, uh, yeah, no, there was a whole bunch of people we played with, and, yeah, no, if you can get yourself a small little group and then subscribe, it's actually really, really good. I mean, it's still kind of, like, short, it still, like, demands a bit of money every now and again, but, no, it's actually a real solid MMO. Like, if you ever, if, you, if you're dying for a new Lord of the Rings game, and, uh, you kind of want to explore all of Middle-earth, and a rather different interpretation, essentially one that isn't Peter Jackson's version of Middle-earth, then, um... Yeah, no, I would highly recommend getting Lotro. Whoa, there's a troll! Okay, we're actually doing pretty well for health. I'm just guessing we haven't got to the real hard bit yet. And I'm not using my abilities because Lightning Sword and um, Disturber of the Peace have real long cooldowns. So I think it's wise not to waste them. <laughs> that, m that must be a biffing one, sound like, because that was... John Reese Davis. Alright. Are we approaching the 21st hall? The Tomb of Balin? Oh, here we go. Level up. Now, I noticed I actually... P <laughs> I made Aragon pick up two level ups last episode, and he didn't level up. It's like, what the hell? Why would you put them in there and then not let you level up? There we go. Okay, he did go up that time. Now, one more level, and he'll become more than just Atlas, man. Is Was that a... Bonus objective? Reach the Great Hall within 10 minutes? I'll oh, screw yourself. I'm not doing that. Wait, do we keep going? Because I might have actually... There might be stairs there. There is a wall there. Okay. We've gone the wrong way. So I'm not actually lost because we did get something there. So I don't count that as me getting lost. You guys... You guys put your little keyboards away. Yeah, I think we can go this way. So I'm pretty sure what they just wanted you to do is make it feel claustrophobic, but gigantic at the same time, which is basically Moria. The dwarves of Khazadun were diligent scribes, recording great many things in close detail. We dwarves take great pride and joy in documenting our lineage through far-branching family trees and tales of our deeds of our fathers. Your kin is not so different from ours. We shouldn't linger here. There was a path up there, or a path down there. I just wanted... Okay, then we can't go that way. I bet you there's something here. I just have to check now, because I know people will get annoyed if I don't. Okay. There is probably something in this room, but you know what? We checked most of it. And, uh... Oh, here we go. Protect the hobbits! I'll take him. This one's about to fall. This one's about to fall. Oh my god, it didn't say I could get it off. I'm so glad we have Legolas. He just covers for all of my ineptitude. Excuse me? We're just gonna keep running. I don't know if there was goblins in that room, but we're going. No, we're not. There's trouble there. Okay, we're going back in. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, it was funny. I had to, uh, I uploaded episode six in the morning 
And then I found out that there was like 11 seconds of copyright or something like that. So I used YouTube's own like internal... What's this? These papers record the fate of Balan's expedition to reclaim this place. Oh, cool. Oh, this must be the library of something something then. Wait, do we actually get to... Oh, nice! Hey, poor Balan. He was really an idiot for going in, but hey. He just wanted to reclaim his ancient homeland. There's nothing wrong with that. These are Kazunum vets, I just realized. That means they managed to find awesome armor in Mora and clad themselves in it. The armor of their forefathers. With me, we must clear the upper floors quickly. Deme! Deme! And he's got the, uh... Vanilla quotes. Or the, uh, movie quotes. Oh well. Guardians. These are archers, we should move them back. Oh my god! Are we fighting goblins or the flood? Alright, so Balan gets the speed bonus and vision range. Okay. Okay, so they didn't change his abilities as well. Alright. Quick, clear out these wretched orcs. Oin. Oh, yes! Freaking Dwarven Sentries, or whatever they're called. I always forget their names. Level 5, yeah boy. And we have Oin as well. Heals nearby allies, yes. Oin's ointments. Oh, that does actually. That, that is actually what he was. He was like an, um, an apothecary or something, wasn't he? Alright, you know, we're not going to attack order because with the limited, like, movement area, like, this is out of bounds, it just completely fucks up. So we're just going to direct attack every time. Pretty sure that's what it is. And these goblins are being buffed by something. Could be the fact that they're level 5. There we go. Alright, I feel like this is going to swarm us with goblins and I'm going to be overwhelmed. Balan, the West Gate is overrun. What's more, an army of orcs approached from the east. That is what happened. They got trapped. We cannot win here. We must retreat to the second hall and recover our strength. Alright, we're going to save. We'll be right back. Alright, we must make haste to the second hall. Which, I don't really know which way the second hall is. But we can't go, um... I don't think we meant to go back the way we came, so here we go. But yeah, going back to Lotra, if you guys ever did the instance battle for the 21st hall, it actually takes you to Balan's tomb, and that you kind of make your last stand at Balan's tomb, and like, there's like two massive cave trolls enter. It's really awesome. Can we... Are we meant to go through this way? No, I think we just keep going. I don't know why those dwarves are just attacking me there. That was weird. Oh, there were dudes in there. Alright. Lord Balan, leave us to it. Retreat to safety. Oh, you majestic dwarves. Oh my god. Alright. Go on with your little pointy stick. But yeah, these guys are from the Dwarf Halls. I fucking love these dudes. Dressing increases armor at the cost of movement speed. I have to remember to use that. This is how the Dwarves usually tackle, um... Wait, what the fuck? Did my sentries just die? It's because these... <laughs> these goblins are level 5 and they're regening in combat. You cheating little fuckers, killing my Dwarves like that. He killed at least one battalion in there, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe half half one. I'm not going to waste my heal, because I've got to keep that for my heroes. Lord Balan, retreat along the east road. We will hold them off. They'll be remembered. Yeah, this is it. We'll be... Oh, okay, we have to help him clear. Let's go! There, we're not attack ordering. Everyone is getting into the fight. Here we go! Full rush! Eat shit. Can we just ignore the fellowship and just play as, like, Cousin Vets now? I'm pretty sure everyone would agree that they're way cooler. We dwarves are natural sprinters! Alright, you don't want Balin and Oin to attack the same dudes, because it's just overkill. 
Do you guys get a charge? No, that's a shame. You don't have to wait my orders. So long as we have Kazadun vets, there's still hope. Oh god, it's the elite units. I think we're gonna go help them. I'm not leaving them to their fate. I don't know if we're supposed to go down here, but I'm helping them. Lend us a hand, would you always- Ooh, and they're the elite units from, uh, for Erebor. It was worth it. Massacre them from above. Eat shit, you foul orcs. Yes, one guy survived. What does he get? Worm Slayers. And Flash Flame. Nice. He's regening already, baby. Hell yes. Oh, this is so good. Look at this massive Dwarven army. It's no wonder only a Balrog could drive them from Moria. Oh, this is, um... Oh, I forget the name of this room. It might just be known as the Water Room in Lotra. I remember it. Kyle, you magnificent bastard. Kyle's really the only one I, I know from the Age of the Ring team, so I just give him all the credit, <laughs> regardless. Dude, this- I have to say it again, these dwarves are just fucking cool. Lord Balin, come! We must defend this hole and secure the passage south. You got it, boyo. Oh shit! Exactly where he's at, sound the horns! Make them head on! For the Alangas! That's not what we are, never mind! Where are the sons of whatever the fuck? Where are the worm slayers? Who's the guy with the coolest looking helmet? That'll be him. Is he at the back somewhere? I don't know. There he is, there he is. I thought I saw him. Give him a battle! Oh, he has to. He can't get through the horde of fucking dwarven bodies. Oh. Let me, let me, let me, let me click here, you bastard. Oh, yes. <laughs> when dwarves throw grenades, you know shit's real. I actually kind of like those voice lines from uh, Rise of the Witch King, like the vanilla expansion. Because uh, the dwarves got, um, rather forgettably, actually. Oh, shit, what the hell? We're no nice fool. Okay, we're not supposed to go this way. Alright. Defend the hole this way! Alright, we're gonna heal just in case I've taken unnecessary losses. Stand proud today. Yeah, these guys, they get massive armor, but there's always something in their way, so... Cousin Vet, you go back. Let the sentries deal with it. Stonewall formation. Porcupine formation. Oin, the orc cleaver. We needed more archers. This would be so easy with archers. Like we've got one, I think. Maybe two. Let's just pull back and let the archers deal with it. Because we're just losing vets randomly. We're already here. Wait, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> my. No, my vets, they were just stuck in position. You saw it. That wasn't me being bad, they were just stuck. I blame level design. Oh shit, Oin's ointments doesn't heal himself. Well, that was lucky. Oh, they're bringing trolls! Yeah, I wonder how many units I've lost unnecessarily here, just because it was being silly. Temporarily empowers a friendly hero, granted them 50% armor. Oh, nice. Might as well use it, since he's the only other hero here. God, how many of these orcs are coming? Get me the fuck out of here, maggot.
The orcs have gathered a great force and our scouts report terrible sounds coming from the deeps. We must reach the second hall with all haste. <laughs> I was just talking about the Dwarven Zealots. That's that's why I liked them. They had character. The encounter ends here. Ah, shit. Oh, there's Oin. The Chamber of Marzubul. Or Mazabul. Yep, that was the whole chamber I was thinking of. That's where you make your last stand in the uh, Lotro instance. Um... I think we go down here. I'm not. I don't think this is the way we came in. No, nope, that was the rubble, Ross. We did this already. God damn it! Okay, now I actually might be lost because I have no idea where to go. Unless, unless we just reach recount their steps because they went this way. Yeah, this was literally where they were. So we'll just recount the steps, right? Surely that's the sane thing to do. And even though it was in a different time, rallying call is still on cooldown. Weird. And uh, that probably would have meant heal was on cooldown if we hadn't, or if we had left it a bit longer. Which way did we go? I forget which way we went. We went up here, right? I have no idea which way we went. <laughs> we must have gone this way. I remember rocks and a tunnel, but that doesn't really narrow it down, does it? Yeah, we must have to re retract the our steps because and just and just do what Balan did. Hey oh, yep. Yeah, okay, we're going the right way. Thank goodness for that. I was just concerned I was about to get lost. So there were dwarves holding off this area, right? So I don't think we need to go down here. But regardless, we're gonna go down here because I want to see where they've got hiding. Unless this was where Bond's axe was. I, I honestly forget. Jesus Christ. Have we been down here before? I don't remember Bond going this way. Oh no. <laughs> Rude devil is well and truly lost. <laughs> I could just be panicking for no reason. I could actually. Quiet. Goblins are close. Alright, I think we've found our path. Although it doesn't take a genius Legolas to guess that there are goblins close in Moria. Oh, here we go. You there! Which way did Balin go? No, that's not the line. It's funny how it, is, it just popped into my head because I heard the vanilla goblin line there. Like, <laughs> we all make fun of EA and yet the game that we all love <laughs> is an EA game. Uh, maybe I should try and get an interview with the dev team of this. I'll have to actually look it up and see if they just remember what it was like working on this. What was the inspiration behind Spider Riders? That was dope as fuck. I think I'll actually phrase it that way as well so he'll know I'm, uh, fully qualified. Don't go to Hedio. There's no elves or- oh, I guess Legolas is around. Damn it, Aragorn has a loophole. Oh my god! No, really? Some king of men you are. That is handsome, orc. All right, hold on. Let me just check the bonus objectives. Find dwarven treasures. Destroy the drums in the deep. All right. In the effort to make the video even longer, we're going to be doing all the bonus objectives. We're getting shot now. Oh. Dagon. Enough of this shit. Uh, you ever see X-Men? Yeah, something like that. Although that was real shit. I don't want to know what created that. Hmm, I think we actually can't go any further. Alright, I thought that would have led to a bonus objective. Touche, Age of the Ring. Alright, let's get out of here. I hear more goblins skulking. I haven't saved in a while. Fuck it, we'll keep going. 
I don't think I saved until Balin. <laughs> oh god, we're fucked. The, the, ne the next golden I see, I'll save. I promise. We're going the right! Oh, no. Yeah, I'm... S fuck. <laughs> god damn it. I have no memory of this place. Yeah, you and me both, kid. I finally get out. The ring had never come to me. So do all who live to see such I wish times. None of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times. But I think I did a better end. To decide. All we have to decide is what to, what do, to do with the time, with that, time that is given to us. The model on Gandalf's the amazing. Forces at work in this world, Frodo, besides the will of evil. Bilbo was meant to find the ring. In which case, you also were meant to have it. And that is not sure it works like that, Gandalf. I'm not sure fate sort of works like that. I don't think it's that convenient, really. Because really, with Sauron is the one who was meant to find the ring since it's his. But, uh... Anyway, bigger problems. We're fucked. I'm gonna save and then think about which direction to go. <laughs> Alright, so while it was saving, I was racking my brain. And I swear that he went downstairs, didn't he? Like, when. That's where the camera shifts to, like, uh, an inferior angle. And he sort of looks up. But then I'm pretty sure that they just went straight ahead, didn't they? Fuck it, we're gonna go straight ahead. I. I. I horror to. Oh god, I think I chose wrong. Well, now we can't leave. Like we won't go back. We go through. Alright, is this its way of telling you you went the wrong way? And it's like, here, fuck it. You made your bed. Probably. One in three, I don't know. We'll see. Is the auto cost on? It is. Legolas is my MVP. I'm very nervous. So yeah, people said this level gets difficult. We've been in here for I don't know how long now. We're almost through Moria, I feel. Yet to find a Balrog though, so maybe that's when it gets tough. Dude, they're hobbits. Their stride is a lot less, uh, a lot shorter than yours, dude. Should we risk a little bit more light? What is this? Attack! Ganoff, you don't one-hit goblins, really? Alright. Legolas is official protector of the hobbits. Keep moving. An open area! And a level up! Alright, who needs a level up? Ooh! Why, dude? Fuck it. Axe throw! I'll smite them from afar! The Watcher isn't really a hero killer, so this should be pretty easy. Kinda wish I didn't waste my Disturber of the Peace now that I did that. <laughs> Oh, right, we're fine. By the blood of Gondor! Was not expecting him to come back, honestly. You defeated him. He shall twitch no more. Alright, um... Gimli, we want you to level up. If I remember from the Biff Me One days, he was always the slowest, so he got the fewest kills. So, he was always the one that got the least XP and leveled up the slowest. I remember that from my Biffy 1 playthrough a lot. It's actually kind of annoying. Um, one thing I will say, did any, like, I actually kind of prefer the movie version, how Aragorn gets uh, Anduril in Return of the King. Because it's more of a character arc that way. Because he's sort of so hesitant and reluctant to be the king. He doesn't want to, uh, be like his, uh, or fail like his forebears. 
I actually prefer that then. Okay, you're on this journey here. Here's your, uh, here's, uh, Andril. Like it was, uh, in the books. Oh, for fuck's sake. He clearly didn't get over it. I was wrong. Escaped? Or let loose? Settlers. That was a pretty clever plan. Gollum always, uh, or Gollum had the ring for a long time, so... He's gonna sniff it out, and he's a lot easier to catch than, uh, a hobbit, it seems, so... Christ almighty, this is a long level. Come on, let's go. Wait, let's do the little light. Maybe we can see what dangers lie ahead. What was that? Alright, we'll get this way. This looks like a bonus objective. The dwarves are masterful builders. Before this is over. The throne of Durin. This is a hollowed place. Oh, nice! I don't think... I'm pretty sure they're capped to level up. That does help. There we go. The house of Durin's... The dwarves of Durin's house believe Durin will be reincarnated seven times. Six, my lord Pippin. Like the new... Like, doesn't Durin the Seventh appear to uh, reclaim Moria at the end of the War of the Ring? Pretty sure. I am doing quite well, thank you. We must keep moving. You know, when Gandalf said we must now brave the long dark of Moria, he really meant it. This level has gone on quite a while. Although we haven't died yet. I'm actually quite proud of that. Come on. Oh, God. Now I don't like the sound of this. There's fires. There's been action. I'll take him. Oh, shit. That's a lot of goblins. That's right, Legolas. Don't move. No matter how close they get to you, just stab them with your arrows. Mm. Alright. I don't know if this is the right way, but... Fuck it. Whoa, bats! Or mini drogoths. Something like that. It's really useful to use uh, Aragorn's bow, because otherwise you have to just solely, uh... Oh, this is the Jump of the Deep, I just realized. Nice. I am God tier. Do you reckon we can use Gimli Leap to get over there? Without the jump, many of these vile goblins will blind to our passage. Oh, nice! Yeah, I think that was probably another way around. I don't think you can Gimli leap over that, and I didn't want to try. What were you shooting? Nice. Must have been done. another bat. Those bats look like shrunken down fell beast. I'm pretty sure it was. Alright, I'm getting real scared of making a mistake now. <laughs> Christ almighty, these winding corridors never end. Look at the map. Look at how much we've done. And if you think we started here and all of this is invisible. Oh god, another fork in the road. No, that's rubble. Okay, just a road. Hello? We must fight. They're all over. For the oh shit. For the White City! Down. Down. Yeah, so I've been, as I've been playing through this, I've been reading The Fellowship of the Ring as well, because, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's just so beautifully written. But, um, I forgot that, uh, when they, uh, first stumble upon the Balrog in Moria, Boromir, because he's, you know, Mr. Bravado Man, 
I think the I think the level up is this way. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Mr. Bravado Man, he like blows his horn of Gondor, <laughs> and it actually says that the barrel like stalls. He like kind of hesitates for a second. It's like, well, what the hell was that? It's just funny that uh, either he blew the horn so loudly, or he just wasn't expecting in the um, it to be blown so loudly, or whatever. That it can like something as uh, minute as the horn of Gondor can. Um, you know, cause a Balrog to hesitate for a moment. I just thought that was really cool. Alright. Man, we're getting all the collectibles. We destroyed the Drum of the Deep. We got the Axe of Balan. We're getting... We got three level ups. Um, I don't think we got the Dwarven Treasures. And we certainly didn't reach that hall in ten minutes. Because who the fuck is going to do that? Um, but yeah, no. On the whole. We're doing pretty damn well. Uh, we're going to save our final time. I'll be back. Wait, what the hell? This is back the way we came. You son of a bitch. I swear to God, if we've just gone back the way we came. Oh, my Fleckenstein. You've got to be shitting me. No. Because this links back here. Why? Why? Oh, why? No, there's no way. <sighs> Two hours later. So apparently, I did go the wrong way. It was the left, and I should have trusted my instincts. Going straight ahead and fighting the Watcher <laughs> was not the right way. It was just a simple left. If you go the wrong way, you have to go the entire way around again. Oh my god, I went through hell trying to get back there. <laughs> In the end, I just loaded the save, and I'm like, fuck it, it's probably left. I was probably right. Oh man, Moria, you win. You beat me. Anyway, next time, the Bridge of Khazad-dûm. Oh my god. Okay, Moria, you beat me. You got me lost. I went the wrong way. I should have trusted my gut. Oh, well. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Next time, the Bridge of Khazad-dûm. We face off against Durin's Bane. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.